Hello everyone! TechnoZooth Craig Chamberlain here. We are on the second to last episode of the Dual Boot series and uh, we've got our floppy boot manager right here. Very straightforward episode for you. Essentially, you need to make sure that yours is doing exactly what mine is doing. That way we can actually get rid of the floppy disk. So let me go ahead and turn on my computer with the boot manager inside. And it's going to boot from the boot manager menu, of course, like we've seen in the previous episodes. Only now, both of them are going to go to our new operating systems. So, let's go ahead and wait for it to boot. And wait. And wait. Boot menu comes up, right? The top I have my Windows XP Professional. Right below it I have my Windows Vista Ultimate. Let's start with Vista Ultimate, shall we? Scroll down and press enter like you did on the previous one. And now it's going to actually boot from Vista. Apparently it's going to ask me if I want to start Windows normally, which is kind of embarrassing, actually, for this video. I'm going to go ahead and start Windows normally. And let this be a lesson to you people. Shut down your computer properly, because otherwise you're going to get that. That's what happens when you just chicken switch it, like apparently I did. So, don't do that. And, uh, of course, you're seeing Windows Vista boot up here as we speak. Now, this computer isn't a fast computer, and you're wondering, many of you have been wondering, why did I choose Vista as my second operating system? It's not because I don't like 7 better. Of course, 7 is much better than Vista. I've gotten a lot of requests, actually, to do a speed-up series for Windows Vista. So I'm actually installing Vista for you guys more than I am myself, because I prefer XP over Vista, but I prefer 7 over XP. So, now that it's up, let me go ahead and do a restart here. Select restart. And now when my computer restarts, boot manager is going to come up again. And we're going to make sure that XP boots up fine. And yours should do exactly what mine is doing. That way, you'll be safe to put the boot manager on one of the primary partitions of your hard drive. I know, very sophisticated stuff. We've actually done a lot of geeky stuff in the series. If, if you followed the series and have officially done this, you're probably geekier than a lot of the students that have graduated from here. I'm telling you the truth. A lot of people that have done this, I'm one of them, have never done anything this geeky. <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm really awesome. I'm just trying to say that they don't have a lot of hands-on experience. Most of it's just theory. So let's go ahead and, and bring up our boot menu here again. Floppy's still in the drive. Sorry this episode's taken so long, but I'm at the mercy of the computer. I'm going to select Windows XP Professional. Now mine's going to give me a boot menu, another boot menu, because I screwed up my installation the first time. You won't get this. Yours is going to go straight to the XP boot screen, okay? So yours is going to go straight to, you know, this, right? Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and visit the forum, because the forum is where it's all happening, or where nothing's happening, and I want you guys to go there so something happens. Basically, that's where I'm going to be hanging out, so if you want to chat with me, that's the place to be. Of course, you can send me direct messages and things like that, but the nice thing about that is, is other people can learn from what you're asking about and all that kind of, you know, educational hoopla. So, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys again later.